Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious stuffed marrow. I stuffed it with minced meat and chorizo. It's absolutely yummy. I've used a marrow today, however, you can also use small courgettes. They will also work very well. Right, so let's have a look together on this recipe. But first, let's go to my garden to pick some nice courgettes. I've got a gorgeous marrow growing just in my garden. So I'm going to pick this. I'm going to cook this. I can't wait. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to start by preparing my marrow first. So I've done here, I've just cut the marrow long ways and now we're going to remove the inside. Just use a big tablespoon to do this and just go inside and just scoop it out because we don't need the seeds. The seeds is something we have to discard. There we go. One side is done. And I can see that this marrow actually is still quite young which means it will be really nice and tender, it will be really delicious. So I do this first before I do the meat because I need to leave this to settle a little bit with some salt. So now when this is removed of the inside, we're going to put a little bit of salt, just sprinkle, and this basically will draw out any moisture, any water, and then I will show you later. Let's prepare the meat mixture now. I've got one tablespoon of just olive oil just there in a pan, which I'm just warming up. I'm going to add one onion, and we're going to cook this for approximately a couple of minutes. And remember, all the ingredients are listed in the description just below, so please have a look. Now I'm going to add some chorizo sausage. I've got three small sausages just there, and I'm going to cook this for further few minutes. Now is the time to add your meat. I'm using beef today. I'm putting 500 grams of good quality lean beef. And now we have to brown the meat. If you want to use turkey or chicken meat or even pork, feel free because it will be delicious as well. I'm going to spice it up a little bit. I'm going to add small paprika because I think it goes very well with this dish. And also, I use oil. And also some oregano, which I've grown myself. Now keep stirring until the meat is nice and brown. This stage I also add garlic. I'm only adding one clove which I've minced because I don't want the garlic to burn. The meat is nice and brown now. So now I can add my chopped tomatoes. I'm adding two tins of chopped tomatoes. And I'm going to also add a little bit of tomato puree. Tomato puree is so good for you. That's why I try to use it in all my cooking. Well, if I'm making a tomato-based sauce. So a little bit. And I'm going to cook this for further five minutes. The meat mixture is ready and it's sliced and juicy. It's going to be yummy. I'm just going to move this to the side. And now let's remove the water from the courgette. So have a look. We've put the salt here earlier and we've collected quite a lot of moisture. So I'm going just to remove this. Now we're going to fill them. So I'm going to use a big spoon and just scoop all the meat into the courgette, but I will put the courgette already in a pan so I don't make any mess afterwards. So just fill it until it's nice and full and you're satisfied. To finish it off, I'm just adding a little bit of grated cheese just on top. You can add as much cheese as you want. I'm just adding a little bit because I try to be healthy. And now I'm going just to put a little bit of stock, and I'm using chicken stock today, you can use any stock, just in the bottom of the pan, and this will help, oops, I'm spilling everywhere, and this will help the courgette to cook properly from underneath as well. Now we're going to bake this in the oven, 180 degrees fan oven, for approximately 35 minutes. The stuffed marrow is ready now, have a look. It looks absolutely delicious. And if you put your knife inside, you can see it's nice and soft. So it means that it's cooked perfectly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment on this video as well and subscribe today for more recipes. Remember to subscribe.